we have Cairo, Illinois. This is a pecan tree. And what you see here is a bacterial infection. It's called slime flux. This could be from a combination of things. That could also be fecal matter from critters that could live inside of this. I guarantee this cavity extends pretty far up into the tree. It's a, a bacterial infection. It's not a super dangerous bacterial infection. There's no real known remedy for this bacterial infection. It's one of those things you just want to look at the health of the tree. Make sure it's still vigorous. It's not getting a lot of large dead branches. And that the tree is still not a threat to any potential targets, uh, houses, i.e. people. If it is, then some mitigation may help to reduce the risk. Uh, you know, some reduction pruning, moving potential targets like uh, park benches and, and uh, preventing people from parking underneath the tree don't allow recreational activities under the tree those kind of things can help reduce the risk of a tree that you are a suspect of now slime flux the aesthetic portion of slime flux can be treated with a little bit of bleach and water um, and that will take care of the aesthetic part however that will not take care of the actual bacterial infection that is going on inside of the tree in some trees where there's significant target further evaluation of the tree Doing a full tree risk assessment is necessary to determine the actual risk rating of a tree like this. This is once again a pecan, Cairo, Illinois. It is an aesthetically displeasing condition. However, it is not a terminal condition and it is not something that makes you think you need to just cut the tree down immediately because you see this. It's pretty common actually. And the benefits of a tree like this far outweigh the risk associated with this tree. Like I said, this tree already provides habitat for probably flying squirrels, possibly regular squirrels, other insects, potential for, if it's a large cavity, you know, uh, owls. Um, woodpeckers will nest inside of these. Typically, woodpeckers nest in pine trees. But nothing is unheard of. I have seen woodpeckers uh, actually bore holes and implant acorns in the holes in dead tissue of Cairo, Illinois. So that's not out of the realm of possibility. But it is a good tree. It is not technically native to Florida. Cairo, Illinois is a big clue to that. It is native to Illinois. It is a agricultural production tree. It does provide some cash crop benefit. However, this tree in particular is not one that does provide cash crop, but it does provide forage for different critters like squirrels, potentially the squirrels that are living within the tree, and other animals like deer and uh, birds. So, Cairo, Illinois, it's a tree. Trees all do photosynthesis. In that process, they turn sunlight into wood, essentially, by uptaking minerals in the soil. And the process of photosynthesis actually takes some of the greenhouse gases out of our atmosphere and stores them and locks them in the wood. So that benefit alone means even if the tree has a problem and it has no threat, you should just leave it alone. Thank you very much. I'm Alex, the host of The Best Gardens DIY. We'll see you next time. Peace.